Hello, Juliana Sproles, bringing you a troubleshooting video. This is how to correct that crack in the top of your beeswax candle. So my glass might have been cold and my wax was very warm. So sometimes if the wax cools too quickly on the outside, it sticks to the, the glass and it separates the hot wax in the middle, separates and creates that crack. So you could use a, a spray um, around the edges to maybe keep it a little bit looser perhaps. Um, I'll demonstrate that one day and we'll, we'll test it. But a lot of it just has to do with temperature. So this is a glass that I cut and uh, sanded on the top so it won't cut your skin. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and just pour another... If you look very closely, you can see that this candle has not separated from the side yet, so it would be okay to pour again. If the Since beeswax is so hard, if it separates from the side and you pour it again, then you're gonna have a whole bunch flowing down the side of the glass and it's not gonna look that great. This still looks pretty clean, so I wanted to demonstrate a troubleshooting tip to correct this crack. Now, since the wicks are standing up nicely, I prime my wicks. The natural organic cotton um, or the actually these are square braid, square braid wicks I'm not sure that these uh, these are not necessarily organic cotton but they are pure cotton and I, I prime them so they're standing up by themselves and if I'm just gonna do a small layer I don't have to use this but I wanted to show you this neat um, sustainer it's just a popsicle stick with a hole drilled in the middle. You can order them 100 in a pack or something very inexpensive and they help keep the wicks in place. But because I'm doing this video, I wanna show that crack. So let's see what happens if I pour this. Now my wax is hot. It's, um, I don't have a temperature on it, but it's um, medium, medium temperature. Okay, let's see if I can do this without the shadow. All right, it's gonna be a little bit of a shadow. But I'm going to just pour in between the wicks so they don't flop over. I'm just gonna cover the bottom. Uh, the wicks are up high, I have plenty there. I, I, I did plenty to cover that. Now, you're gonna see the wax will travel down into that depression and it's making it even a little bit bigger hole underneath the melted wax but the melted wax yep there goes that wick okay so if i want that to stand up i can gently just slide this on here and put it back in place right and um we're still looking, I'm gonna move this out of the way just for a second. I have time to move that back into place, but that hole is going to be covered up now. If I really wanted to make sure there was no air pocket or hole gonna form in there, I could poke a metal um, skewer, you know, there and just Make sure I'm letting out. Oh, there it's sealing up. I can see it closing. It's it's closing. So I want this to be standing up. Uh, so these twin flame. It's a twin flame candle. Two flames. Very important. I'm doing this with one hand so I can hold the camera. There we go. Okay, now I can move this around a little bit. So I want my twin flames, my two flames, just to be somewhat centered. They don't have to be perfect. Okay. So, I'll wait, a, I'll wait a little bit more just to see if we can see the skin form on top of 
the candle. It's, I've never really watched it all the way through on a video. I have a little bit of a chip right here because I was trying to get a wick tab. My wick pulled out and the wick tab was still adhered or stuck to the bottom. So when I took, I took a little knife and I tried to pop it out and I chipped my glass. This is not very high quality glass, but it still is very pretty. Look at that. I'm curious to see when it, when it burns, it's usually like a violet color. You would think yellow in the inside and blue on the outside make, might make it look a little green, but it, it actually comes out kind of violet. So since we made it this far, I might as well just let that set and see if we can get the skin to form on top of the quick fix for the candle crater. few more minutes. I didn't plan this to hold the camera steady. I guess I could have mounted the camera, but I didn't. So here we are. You can watch it form on the outside. The room temperature here inside, I think is high 60s low 70s um, the sun's coming in the window and it's not super cold it's chilly outside it's a lot colder downstairs but we don't have the heat on so that's the thing about pouring beeswax it, it, it cools quickly um, when it's against that cold glass but this is gonna turn out actually pretty even and what I'll do when it's fully hardened and dried and cured like after 24 hours. I mean, I could work with it even before 24 hours because it's going to become solid. But when it's really set, I can go and take my sanding paper. I have different types of sanding paper and I can sand more on top. You'll see from the sanding, I um, still have more I could do to make this uh, smoother. It's not gonna cut me now, but I just wanna see if I can get that chip out a little bit. I think this candle's for me um, to watch it. I don't think I'm gonna give this one, but oh, there's a there's a green. Looks like an orb, but it's a reflection of my iPhone. Pretty, 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 pretty. The looking through the blue to getting that magenta by the red teapot is kind of cool too. All right, let's see. Yep. We've got a skin formed. Okay, so it's very light and delicate. Normally I would not advise taking these off, but I just wanna show it without these on. I wanna show that very delicate skin. So if you're very careful and the hole in the popsicle stick is big enough, you can take these off easily and see. We didn't break the skin around the wick. It's all beautiful. And now I'll let this set a bit further so that I can, I always cut my wicks at an angle. And um, actually here, I'll go, I'll go ahead and I'll cut them now on camera. Just let me. may as well go ahead and say that I love these floral shears that I find at Ace Hardware. They're super sharp. So, oops, pardon me. A big finger in the way. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can cut this at an angle. Really nice and sharp. I like to cut at an angle because then when I go to light my candle, super crisp, super sharp. Just a mark of a Juliana Sproul's beeswax candle. I'm wishing you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Juliana Sproul's signing out.